If you thought you needed the ocean to enjoy a luxury cruise liner, think again. Today, you can do it at two cruise docks from Milwaukee, Pier Wisconsin downtown, or South Shore at the Lake Express High Speed Ferry. Cruise companies have discovered the beauty of the Great Lakes, some bringing passengers from as far as Europe. The Great Lakes are a perfect market for small ship luxury cruises, and Port Milwaukee, the perfect connecting point. Not just for cruise lines. Port Milwaukee is a link to commerce and recreation throughout the world. It's true. Port Milwaukee can move cargo any way you want. Ships from Europe, the Mediterranean, and North Africa bring steel, heavy equipment, cement, and cargo. Then leave with Wisconsin-grown corn, soybeans, and heavy mining equipment. Tugboats and barges haul the same products to the Chicago and Illinois rivers, then down the Mississippi. Self-unloading Lakers bring Canadian salt and steel, Michigan limestone and cement, plus slag for recycling into concrete. Tankers and barges carry Wisconsin ethanol to Canada and coal ash to Michigan for recycling in cement plants. Trains move arriving steel throughout the Midwest, West, and Gulf Coast areas, while trucks deliver to Northern Illinois, Madison, and the Fox Valley. It's a lot of stuff. 2.4 million tons of goods in 2018. That's enough tonnage to fill six and a half Empire State Buildings. The regional economic and social impacts are huge. In 2017, it meant more than 1,300 local jobs, over 100 million in business revenue, and 30 million in state and federal taxes. Port Milwaukee is also a city department that earns money, making the port's operation a net plus for taxpayers. It's the result of a lot of hard work by Port Milwaukee staff and facilities, with lots of support from the city of Milwaukee. After all, Port Milwaukee is a huge part of the city, economically, socially, and geographically. 470 acres stretch from Russell Avenue in Bayview to the steps of the Calatrava. It's also the only entity that literally creates land for the city. The port supports dredging throughout the harbor, keeping Milwaukee's river water deep enough for ships and clean, while also providing material for the land under the Summerfest Amphitheater, Discovery World Museum, and the Lake Express. Who knew? Port Milwaukee is also environmentally friendly. We use trains to minimize truck shipments out of the port. In 2018, the port covered over 1,300 truck shipments. We're looking to increase that in the future to reduce the impact of trucks on Wisconsin roads. Our Port Milwaukee wind turbine has generated more than a million kilowatts of renewable electricity since going online in 2012. That's enough power for 18 Wisconsin homes for a year. What's not used is sold back to We Energies, creating a hefty dividend for taxpayers. We're also Green Marine certified. We've reduced our environmental footprint and improved it in measurable ways every year. Port Milwaukee's future is bright. The Department of Transportation will help make rail transport at the port even more efficient than it already is. Michaels Corporation will build a $100 million project near the Kinnikinick River. And Komatsu Mining is investing hundreds of millions in a headquarters and manufacturing facility along the Inner Harbor. That means even more economic benefits, more increases in transportation efficiency, even greater connectivity to the world. That's what Port Milwaukee is all about. Supporting the local economy, helping the health of local businesses, sustaining jobs, Want to learn more? Come see us. Visit portmilwaukee.com.